Hello, everyone. Uh, today I have Dr. Fayyad from uh, University of St. Joseph in Beirut and uh, Hotel Dieu uh, Hospital, where I had my tonsils removed a long time, very long time ago. So Dr. Fayyad is going to discuss a paper that uh, apparently uh, does not replicate. Dr. Fayyad is a rheumatologist, and this is about uh, a marker of an autoimmune disease with a complicated name spondyloarthritis. Let's start with slide one. They have uh, almost 50 patients at about 100 controls that they call blood donors. The process was done in two batches where they send uh, batches to uh, the population. Uh, and when they got the results from the batches and did the testing, they, re <laughs> they figured out that the results were statistically different in both batches and they had to repeat the analysis on the whole population. They repeated the analysis, and unfortunately, they ran into a slight um, mishap that they did not have enough blood, but it was not unevenly distributed. So what did they do for, the, for, for that missing data? So what did they do? So for the missing data, for patients and donors in the batch one, they used the IgG old value from the first analysis. And for the batch two, patients and donors, they used the new values, so from the second analysis, the retest. And when there were no values, so they were missing values for patients and donors in the batch two, they used the old value from the first analysis. This by itself can explain non-replicability. Now, how do you know what happened here? Uh, so I was among the authors uh, that recruited the patients in the study, and there were uh, exchange of uh, emails between the principal. Okay, and the so you were. And, and what uh, happened? You 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 withdrew your uh, your. Uh... I, I I raised I raised my concern about this methodological problem, but I didn't receive any reply. And then they, they you you ceased to be a co-author. Did you voluntarily withdraw, or they sort of no, withdrew? No. no. No, I, my name was uh, withdrawn from the list of authors without my knowledge and without informing me. So now we see what happened, and, and definitely. Now explain to me one final thing. Is there any subsequent paper since 2019 that finds any similar result? So there are uh, three or four papers that show that uh, there is no uh, added value for anti-CD74 in the diagnosis of axial SPA. So uh, this okay, results and so, this paper okay. they didn't replicate. Okay, great. We have all the information. This is a very nice case study. Thank you very much, Dr. Fayyad. And uh, and and we probably have to classify uh, the different uh, uh, the different uh, sources of non-replicability in future papers. Um, here, one maybe it could be another one, uh, better than a paper. But uh, here we have good indication of uh, mixing samples, and and there's uh, particularly something interesting that I'd like to point out that may reinforce his uh, analysis is that there appeared to be no correlation <laughs> between the old and the new data. So, <laughs> so there's something weird. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Fayyad, and have an excellent day. Thank you, Professor Tadeh. Thank you.